So here are the packages. I'm getting ready to open them up. I'm too excited. This top one was the one that I've been waiting on for the longest, so I'm gonna open those first. Got my little cute pink knife, y'all. Babe got this along with some other tools on Facebook Marketplace. She got me a whole little tool set. I think I've shown it to you guys before. I've had it for like four or five years now. So first thing I got, I got these two olive wood spreaders. They're like little knives, but they're wooden knives. I think they are too adorable. One is darker than the other one. You never know what piece of the wood you're gonna get. I do like this one better. It has a lot more detail. It looks a lot more expensive than this one does. Let's see, let's see. So the next item I got is this covered butter dish. I plan on keeping this one in the refrigerator. You guys know I thrifted one to keep on my counter for the room temperature butter, but I'm going to make some fresh butter to go in this one. Oh, how cute. So I got these for like my little salts and spices and stuff like that when I'm recording. You could also use these for little dips. I think I got four of these. Yeah, I know I've been making a lot of homemade biscuits, so I ended up getting me a biscuit cutter as well. I'm tired of using my measuring cup to cut out my biscuits. One more to open up, y'all. Oh my gosh, I love, oh, I love these. These are the pasta bowls. I love them so much. This is about to be my new favorite bowl. I can already tell. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful, y'all. So here is all the stuff that I got. Of course, these are my absolute favorites. I was hoping they were gonna be this big. I looked at so many pictures and I'm glad they are like pasta bowl size. I was hoping they weren't gonna come in any smaller than this and these are perfect. I will link all of this stuff down in the description box below if you guys are interested in any of the pieces. And now look at all this stuff I gotta clean up. Where are the grandkids when you need them? And then King would've broke down the boxes for me. Carter would've gotten all this trash up. You know, <sighs> now I gotta do it myself. Good morning, y'all. Here is the list of stuff that I need to run in and grab. Not too much, so I think it'll take me about 15 minutes, maybe. I've been cooking so many muffins, y'all. I gotta replenish my muffin tins. I think I just wanna do all white. I think I'm gonna make two ones. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get these again, cause I like these. Okay, I gotta grab some coffee now, and then we'll go over to the side that, you know, the non-food side. I'm back from Walmart. Let me quickly show you what I got so I could put this stuff up. 
First things first, some tissue needed this. I got the great value version of the Swiffer mop things. Y'all, these things are so expensive now for the great value brand, $9. So imagine how much the other brand was. Yeah, I ain't paying that. Also got some nonstick parchment paper. I've been baking my little tail off y'all, so I've been needing that parchment paper. I got some aluminum foil, and yes, it's great value. Got this optic white toothpaste. And then speaking of baking, I got the cupcake liners, which you guys saw, I got white and then black and white. Y'all know I love prepping stuff on paper plates, so I got some of those. I got Babe another scrubber for her grill. Her current scrubber looks all full. So I saw these and purchased her one. I got us some mouthwash. So I got a big thing of the French vanilla coffee creamer. I grabbed the rice because it does go with today's dish. Is that it, y'all? I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I got. So let me put this stuff up, wash my hands, and then I think I'm gonna make some coffee. I don't know if I wanna have a muffin or if I wanna make me like a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. I don't know where I got this jolt of energy from, but at 7.30, I got up and made some biscuits. I cut my recipe in half, and if you guys haven't seen the recipe for the biscuits, I'll leave it linked right here. But I cut that recipe in half, and it only made like five regular size biscuits and one kind of smaller biscuit. So I put those in the freezer and froze them, and y'all, all I gotta do is pop it out, pop one in the oven. My bacon is already cooked, and then I just need to fry me a little egg white, and I have my bacon egg, and I don't know, I probably won't put any cheese on it, but I have my bacon and egg sandwich. It is delicious and got me feeling so warm inside. My hair keeps falling. I need to put a little bobby pin right there. I have two biscuits in the oven. I'm getting ready to make me a little breakfast sandwich and probably just eat me an extra biscuit. Not right away, but a little bit after I finish that sandwich. The biscuits look so good. I'm only gonna make one because I'm not a huge egg fan, but I'm put a little egg on there. And then I got some bacon here, which I just need to heat up. I cooked it yesterday morning. Y'all, here are the biscuits. They look so good. I got my bacon heating right here and then my little egg. I just got it sitting. I was just waiting on my biscuits. I'm gonna rub a little bit of butter on them. These look delicious. Here is my breakfast, y'all. I'm almost done with my coffee. But I put a little bit of chili crisp on my eggs. I got some avocado, my beautiful biscuit. Oh, just perfect biscuit. And a couple pieces of bacon. So I don't know if you guys watched my birthday vlog, but I came thrifting at the St. Vincent's DePaul thrift store. I saw two dressers in there that I really like for the um, kids room and I didn't get them. And I've been thinking about them for like a month now. So I came back to see if they still have them. So that's where I am right now, St. Vincent's DePaul. Of course, we're not just gonna look for that dresser, but also gonna shop for some home decor items. So let's head in and see what we can find. All right, so 25% off yellow, 50 off blue, 
and then a dollar green tag. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to the area yeah, where yeah. the dresses were and I am not seeing them. Oh, they was right here. Cause it was like a cow hair ottoman right beside them. Not here. They've sold a lot of stuff. They do have an outside area where like a warehouse area. So we're gonna head out there and see. I know I should have gotten them, but I just, I don't know. I was yeah. 100%. I like this table right here though, y'all. Yeah. It's old school, but I like it. It's like that campaign style. Wonder how much it is. I don't see a sticker on that, but I really like that. None of these are the dressers, y'all. I am so disappointed. That's a nice set, but it looks like it may have gotten rained on. But it'll be good for outside if you want to like redo that. I like this one too. Not as nice as the first ones, but I like it. This one is 150. I like this. These dresses are kind of pricey too. I think he asked 90 for that one that I was looking at inside the store. This is 45. I really like it though. Oh, this is pretty. This is more so for me, not for for the kids room. That is pretty, y'all. I like that. I even like the handles. I like everything about that. And then they also have the matching. Um, I don't know if this would be like a media stand. It says dresser. But it only has like two drawers look like. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, I would do like a TV, like a media stand instead of a dresser. But that is nice as well. And now they got this nice china cabinet, and this is only $75, y'all. That is such a great price. There is a little damage to one of the glass pieces, but other than that, it looks like it's in great condition. Maybe there's a little piece right there, but it looks really good. I wonder what this little over tan piece is back here, y'all. Oh, it's sold. Somebody bought it. Lily, you better be glad you bought this because I probably would have got it myself. Y'all, this has been sold, but it is so amazing. Well, I would be mad if they put this on top of my soul couch. It might all go to the same person. I still wouldn't want it on the couch. Look at the legs. I love this funky little couch, y'all. I wouldn't use this as my main couch, but like your little ladies room, your closet room, this would have been perfect. I didn't find what I'm looking for. I didn't even find anything over here that I really like. Well, that I just had to bring home. So I guess we're just gonna go and look through the kitchenware home decor area and see if there's anything over there that we can find. The French press coffee set. I don't want to open it because I'm assuming it's new. Doesn't look open at all, but it has a lot of pieces to it. I don't know what all should come with the French press, but it has a lot and it's $35. This is a cute little patio set. It's $150. These are $4. I'm assuming they're $4 each. I like that coffee table. It's $50. The glassware and home decor. What are these? That is so pretty. A dollar for the small saucers. And I'm assuming those are probably like $2.50. 
Oh, well, look at these. More than the Majestic something is the brand. These are two fifty for this size bowl. They have one cup back here that matches of two cups. I'm not getting this set, but it is so cute. It is a vintage like flower, sugar, and whatever set. I love that. That is so pretty. It doesn't go with my decor. That's why I'm not getting it, but I like it. Here's another one that I like too. Now this one matches my decor. It's $4 for this size and three for this one. Oh, the prices on these. Four. That one is eight. And that one will probably be six because it's a medium size. Home Trends is the brand. I put them in the cart. We're gonna see they'll be seven dollars, which isn't bad at all. I probably won't use food in these, but I think they're gonna work out great for some added storage and organization in some part of the house. These are cute candlesticks. Two dollars each. Not a bad price at all. I have no clue what this is. It's a pretty. Two dollars each. So pretty. Found this glass piece right here. It's ten dollars. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it, but I just wanna see what it looks like. Like see the type of glass. So because I'm being picky with my findings, I would much rather have this than these two. So I'm gonna put these back. I'm not gonna get them. I'll leave them for somebody else. Are you talking to yourself, I'm talking to this camera. Oh. <laughs> Remember I told y'all I thought I was going through, I think I'm going through menopause. Yeah, okay, it's about time for me to get up out of here. Oh, my yeah. back is sweating. I got a couple more day. areas oh. to look through yeah. and then I, I am out. I was going to look at the books and see if I could find a cookbook, but the lady down there just told me there's another thrift store in St. Augustine called Alpha Mega. So I'm about to check out from here and then head over there. And then we may even hit up the Goodwill. Just depends on what Alpha Omega is giving. So I didn't find anything else. I'm just going to grab this. And we're gonna head out, so let's go check out.